Hello again. Okay, well, we've got, uh, we've accomplished quite a bit and we're ready to uh, kind of install one of the last pieces of the moccasins and that's the tongue. And it is quite a critical part in that uh, you, you want to make sure that you get it installed correctly otherwise your foot uh, won't well it won't be the right size let me just show you what would happen if you if you never had it tight enough okay so here you got your moccasin and you've stitched it all up okay and oh boy you're ready to ready to try it out and guess what happens you didn't tighten it up enough in the front and look at how far up your toes are going to go see they're going to be way past the sole so you have to it's very critical that you get the tongue and use it to pull up the front of the toe okay so you use it to pull it up until it's in the uh, in the up position and in fact even take and pull it a little bit past okay and then when you're adjusting it's easier to adjust uh, by pulling it back than pulling it forward okay so we're gonna take it back a little bit and then once you've Oh, I, well, I guess I'll start right from scratch. Take your two pieces, center your toe with the uh, body of the moccasin toe part, and then put a clip on the front. Pull it straight back, and, and pull it back far enough where it's uh, leaning forward or where I guess it's leaning backwards. Okay, and then once you've got that, we need to uh, curl the sides up. Okay, bring one side up at a time and put a clip on it. Okay, there's that one. And this one also. Okay, so now just kind of straighten everything out here a little bit. What you have to watch for is that this circumference here is longer than this circumference here. So this side, you can use more gathers on this side than on this side. But what you do is you just keep on gathering it until there's no more excess moccasin left. Okay, let me just check, make sure everything looks right here. You can take it off. Line it up nice again. Okay, and then flip it over and check to see how it is. And I think I would like to go just a little bit tighter. See, our tongue is still loose here. So rather than taking everything off and starting over from scratch again, uh, what I'll get you, what I would get you to do is we've still got all of this uh, loose over here. Okay, so take your moccasin and your body, mo your moccasin tongue and the body of the moccasin and bring it up to the top and then just put a temporary clip on it and do that to both sides and as you do that and as you do that uh, try to have the sides running parallel okay so now what we're going to do is take these clips one at a time okay take them one at a time and uh, 
move the tongue up, I would say at least a quarter of an inch. Okay, so just release it, move the tongue up and let it go. Then go to this side, release it, move the tongue up and let it go. Okay, we'll just fix that all up again. Make sure that your toe here is pretty well in line with your with the toe here. Then put a clip on it and see how everything is sitting then. Okay, so we're looking not too bad there. Uh, we're back. We're at least back a little bit and if not, we're at least straight up and down. Okay, so now what I would like you to do is about maybe every inch or inch and a half would be to put a, a clip on it. And what we're going to do right now is to measure for the length of our tongue. Okay, these temporary ones you can take them off as need be. Okay, and then I like to do a couple on one side and then a couple on the other. And again, make sure that there's no slack or looseness in the fabric on the sides. Sometimes this is quite a slope as we go up to the top of the top of the ankle here. So you maybe want to put two of them in. Two clips that is. There, so we've got we've got lots of tongue left over. We've got oh three or four inches left here. And uh, what what uh, we'll do is take your take your marker, whatever one you use. And what I like to do is because we've kind of got this. Uh, not too bad here. I'm just looking at the the part on the tongue here and it might be just a little bit long in that I think we might have been able to take up a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to decide if I should take the clips and loosen them off or if I should just adjust on the measurements or if I should say that it's good. It's probably going to do just fine but I should do it the proper way and that would be to uh, either loosen the clips off or to pull it somewhat. Okay, there you can see that we've uh, created a, a ripple here by doing that. So we'll just watch that when the, uh, we'll just have to adjust for that. But that's easy once you, uh, if you take these clips off, it's easy to fix.
There, I think we're looking pretty good there now. Okay, so what I like to do, so that we don't have to do it all over a second and third time, I'd like to uh, take, take a marker, something that you can be removed, of course, and then just so the two sides match up, put a couple of marks on it. And now you know when you put it back together that that's where it should be sitting. Okay, now the next thing that we want to do is to go up to our top here and we want to mark the bottom of our ankle trim and we'll mark the top of the ankle trim and we'll do that on both sides. You'll find that the ankle trim or the uh, length of the moccasins sometimes is not straight across and that's okay. Uh, just uh, use that as a as a guideline and uh, and cut it reasonably reasonably straight but it could be out a little bit. Okay so we've got we've got everything lined up here. Um, we are going to be putting a D-ring right in the center just below our uh, our ankle trim so it's going to be in the center and just below so I'm just going to put a mark here just to remind me that we're going to do that okay so that's what you got right now so now what we're going to do is we're going to go cut the uh, toe to length and we'll match the other one up uh, the same as as this one and then we'll take and we're going to put on our the trim on the toe okay so we'll after we cut it to length we'll add the trim and then uh, then we'll carry on with the stitching but you see how it is uh, how the toe is set and and that's about the best way that I've found to set it I'll show you how to do the stitching and how to do these gathers here uh, so that it looks good okay well that's it and uh, we'll carry on thanks for watching Hi there. <clears throat> okay, well, we got our uh, toe finished here, and there's just something that I'd like to show to you. Uh, you can see that uh, I've sewn on the D-ring, and uh, 
you know it's not uh, not likely that any that this thread here is going to unravel but just to be on the safe side what I like to do is to flip it over onto the back and if you just give it a couple drops of crazy glue that's going to prevent all that thread from coming unwound so it's a really good idea if you do that it doesn't show show up on the uh, on the front at all and we've got our uh, trim put on the banding on the front and we've got the uh, we still got our marks from where we uh, when we had it set up the last time so let's go ahead and we'll set it up the same as we had it previously and what I'm going to do is just start off by putting the marks there okay we'll put the marks together and the one thing about uh, about doing the moccasins is that even if our even if our tongue is a little bit uh, higher or lower than the top of our banding on the ankle it's not really going to be a big issue at all so now just put a few uh, clips on here to kind of level things out And what's going to happen is that uh, I'm going to end, I'm going to put some uh, waxed nylon cord uh, for stitching on here. And what I'm going to do with it, I'm just going to get a different clip here. Uh, and then I'm going to do the stitching on the uh, for the cord to hold everything together and I'll be punching holes along the side here okay and uh, let's just so if you look our toe of our moccasin is pretty well even with the top of the uh, of the sole okay so we've got our sole on the bottom and the tongue is just right about even with that last little bit there and that's uh, if you follow that you're going to be pretty close to where it has to be so we flip that up and if you look at that it's looking pretty good sometimes what I like to do is take and put another clip on each side here okay and that's going to give us our idea about how things are going to look like when they're finished I'm, I'm debating whether or not to put another another loop up on the top here because then you would be able to really tighten it up around your ankles. I haven't decided whether I should do that or not. I'll just think about it for a while. Okay, well this is set to go. Now I'm going to prepare the lacing, the, uh, the, uh, the waxed cord for it, and I'll set up, uh, I'll get set up for that, and then I'll come back and we'll go through uh, installing uh, stitching everything together okay thanks a lot hi there okay well let's uh, go ahead and get started on uh, doing up our our stitching here I've decided that I'm going to use this uh, it's black and white this particular one 
is about two millimeters in diameter. I usually use 1.5, but I've got this one here and it's uh, two millimeters, but it matches with the uh, with the paracord that I used on the top. So I'm going to use the uh, black and white instead of what I usually use. This is the kind of stuff I usually use and this one this is a black and it's one and a half uh, one and a half millimeters. That's a black and then here's a brown and of course they come in all kinds of colors. Uh, they, it's it's a reasonable price but you have to get it from China. Uh, if you order it from other places, uh, quite often you get a little a little bit like this, and that's if you're making a lot of moccasins, it's hardly worth the trouble ordering them. But they do come in a lot of different uh, colors, so the sky's the limit kind of thing. But black and brown are generally the two that I think are most popular. Okay, so. Now that uh, we've got everything kind of uh, matched up here with our clips on, here's how I found that it's uh, the best way to make things work. Uh, I'm going to use a, a double stitch. Uh, I find that that one there is the nicest. It's I've just recently started using it. I was always scared before uh, Because it looked difficult, but it's uh, really Really uh, quite easy. So I'll just show you how I do it. Uh, I use these T uh, pins Okay, and then this paracord is woven so it uh, it will unravel if you if you want it to but I take the pin Put it inside. And I find if you hold it straight up and down, it's got a a better tendency to go straight down the middle. I see that my uh, battery is running dead, so I'll just leave it like that. I'll get a new battery and then I'll come back. Okay, well, we've got the, the T-pin inserted in here. Then what I do, take some uh, super glue. And if you don't want the super glue to go everywhere, put a cloth down. Okay, and then soak it down not too bit. Uh, soak it down pretty good with the crazy glue okay and that will penetrate right to the inside and okay we have to do that on both both ends Okay, then I take a uh, side cutters, uh, a pretty big pair, and cut off the ends. Now, if you want to, you can also take and poke out, poke the sharp end out here, and cut that off too. Now, these aren't going to stick out too much. Uh, 
sometimes they'll stick out and jab you when you're least expecting it so you can uh, reach in there and cut them off okay then I take the my uh, my wood burning iron and I cut off about maybe half an inch here okay and then I take a nice do this with it kind of what I'm trying to do is to force the uh, the cord downwards so that it smooths out that ridge on on the front and the smoke doesn't smell very good in by the way And the other thing you can do if you want is take a file and just touch that up that it's no jagged edges on it. And then I just kind of do that just to dry it out from the pair from the glue. Okay, that's not looking too bad. I am going to use a file on it because without smoothing that out, you can have a lot of a lot of difficulty at times. So I'm just going to get a file. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, and these other two pins are for the other moccasin. Okay. Okay, uh, just stretch them out and find the approximate middle. Then, oops. Now, like I said, our our stitching is going to stop in between the first and the second loop. Now, the reason for that is then uh, you can easily open the toe up uh, to slide your foot in. If it was stitched all the way up to the top, uh, then this hole has to be big enough for your foot but by stitching it only up to here and then I put a rivet in there to really hold it this way uh, you'll be able to open it all the way up that's why I just stitch to the between the first and the second one okay I mean uh, your shoes don't have in they don't have it at all they've just got holes all the way along so you could do the same thing here, but uh, I want to fasten the stitching and I got to uh, gather up the excess uh, leather in the front here. Okay, so let's just put a mark about in the middle and about, oh, let's say uh, half an inch in. And you want to have your have put your your loops back far enough where you've got enough room to punch a hole in here okay so about every oh 
I would say five eighths to three quarters of an inch is where we're going to have it. Okay, so if this way we can get underneath, whoops, underneath the uh, loop to put our cord. And you do that every five eighths to, like I said, uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay, and uh, you want to bring it up, uh, stitching up past this first loop. Okay, otherwise you're going to have too much fabric here, so, or, so you got to bring it up to the, just the past the, uh, the last loop, and then by doing the uh, gathers, you should be good to go all the, get it all the way around. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll put one between the two. And then about every uh, five eighths to three quarters of an inch. Okay, so there's our last one. Now we go to the first side and we start punching our holes. Now this first hole could be a little bit bigger than the other, uh, the rest of them. So I'm going to, I am going to do that because you go through it twice. Okay. So this is, we line everything up, not too bad. And then like I said, about a half inch back. Now, oh, I'll do the other one while I've got it set. I'll get the edges lined up nice. Okay, now I'll make now I'll turn it to one size smaller. Usually I use the smallest hole, but that's when I use 1.5 mil cord. Okay, so we got that one. see if I can adjust this light a little bit here. See how that works.
And if you can't get it back half an inch or three eighths of an inch, just do the best you can. Or three eighths or even a quarter would be fine. Half an inch might be a little on the big side. We just got one more here. Okay. Okay, find the middle of your cord. And you're going to kind of divide it in half in that you're going to put one in this way and you're going to take the other one and put it in the other way okay and then we'll pull them straight through snug it up a little bit um, I usually double wrap this first one but again that's when I'm using the thinner cord I'll still do it okay you take that other one you take the one And what you got to watch for is that you don't go through the pair, the other uh, cord, because if you do that, it's not going to work. Okay, don't tighten them up too much right now, and it'll help you uh, get the other one through. And if you uh, need pliers, don't grab onto the, the pin, grab on further down. Maybe this wasn't necessary to go through both times. You know something, I don't think it was worth the effort. So I'm going to take it out. It just looks like we got a big 
a big schmozzle there. Okay, that's looking a little better. We just got the one there. Okay, now we do the same thing except we cross over. Okay, so take the one that's on your right hand side, cross it over, and go through the hole on, that's on the other, on your left hand side. through from the other direction and it's really not that difficult at all and it looks so much better than just uh, using one cord So you can see how we got an X there. Okay, well that's the idea behind it. Now, it, it, uh, it's just going to be an X right here, but when you get up to the top where you have to do the puckers, that's when it really, uh, really uh, makes it look good. And then you can just snug, snug everything up a little bit. It doesn't have to be extremely tight by any means. Okay, I'll, I'll do one more here, and then I'll complete the rest until, uh, and I'll stop when I get to the gathers. Okay, there's our next X. So I'm going to stop with the video just right there. And when I get up to the puckers, we'll, I'll come back and I'll we'll just finish it off then and show you how it works. Okay, thanks for watching.